How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I have for you all the 97 overall signature series Luis Gonzalez debut. Uh, before we get into this video, I wanted to quickly go over my championship series or awards. In the last video I was able to make championship series, but I did not include my uh, live series diamond that is included in that pack. So we're going to go ahead and open up a couple of these packs. We have a, a solo pack I just opened there, as well as the Twitch drop pack, which had a silver in it, which is not terrible. I mean, obviously you can get a little bit better, but... Here we go with the live series diamond. It is guaranteed 85 to uh, 94 overall, I would say. I think you're able to get Mike Trout out of this pack. And uh, at least I know it's a guaranteed live series diamond. So that is something to keep in mind. I know that this is Steven Strasburg. I already pulled him once before this year, and I got the same stats. I know that Max Scherzer has way more strikeouts than that. And that is indeed uh, 86 overall Steven Strasburg. So a pretty good pitcher if you're looking to grind out the upcoming uh, program. And the seventh inning program does have a quick delivery. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the 97 overall Luis Gonzalez gameplay. We will be playing him in left field. I didn't want to use him in a secondary position just because he doesn't really have the best feeling to begin with. But he is batting in the five spot. I replaced him with Griffey for this gameplay. And we're going to be going up against a pretty good opponent who has a lot of signature series teams. It's going to be uh, Justin Verlander against Kershaw. So I would think that I have the advantage right away just with the pitching matchup. I've pitched pretty well with Clayton Kershaw as well as hit Verlander fairly decent as well. But some people can pitch with him effectively. We already give up a leadoff base hit. And uh, able to get the strikeout to George Brett, his three hitter. He does have Troy Tulowitzki batting in the cleanup spot. I went with the 12 6 curveball. He swung very early on it earlier in the at bat, and he sat on that one, blooped it in the center field for a single. He's going to go up 1 0, and uh, that's going to bring up Hanley Ramirez. He had a couple really good uh, right handed hitters that I want to try out. I tried out that Hanley, he didn't really do that well for me. But uh, that too low is another card I'm looking to try out. If I can make World Series this season, then I will go ahead and uh, pick up that too low and debut him for a video or possibly uh, the Craig Kimbrell. I'm not quite sure. But we are getting a little bit of a break there in the uh, first inning. Two out hit from uh, Lou Gehrig, and that one's going to be a double just out of the reach of Bryce Harper. I wasn't sure if he's going to be able to make that play. I think uh, Diamond Fielder makes that play every time. But uh, Rogers Hornsby, I just barely got under that one with him. And that's going to be sent out to center field. Tony Gwynn does make the play. So this guy has a little bit of a defensive uh, outfield in terms of a couple guys in their secondary positions. Does have Bryce Harper out there and uh, Tony Gwynn in center and then Hanley Ramirez in left. So a little bit of a different outfield. You don't normally see those types of players out there. I know Gwynn is a guy that everybody uses. But anyway, uh, just those, a couple of those other guys are just... Uh, budget players or maybe he got that out of the signature series pack i'm not quite sure but we're looking to settle down with uh, clayton kershaw here a little bit he does have the brand new buster posey as well so i wanted to take you guys through the at bat with him he hit that one on a rocket and now we're going to be debuting the 97 overall luis gonzalez kind of a cool story about how i was able to meet luis gonzalez was uh, a few times through some charity work he does a lot of charity work in arizona and that's where i'm from He's, uh, his son was also on my sister's Little League Baseball team, or the other way around. My sister was on his son's Little League Baseball team, however you want to say it. Uh, that was uh, the case, and he was at practices every now and then. Got a chance to meet him a couple times. And then I also participated in the P.F. Chang's Marathon with him. He does a lot of stuff for uh, kids with cancer and uh, does a lot of stuff with kids in general. So I thought that that was pretty important to include in the video. I did square that ball up with him in that last uh, at bat. I was looking to hit a no-doubter with him, but I did not pull the ball. I hit it to the left center field gap, and uh, Tony Gwynn tracked it down. So that's unfortunate, but... Uh, it is what it is, and I'm going to look to try and have a couple better at-bats in this game. I swung at the first pitch with him. But anyway, Mike Piazza is getting us on the board. Only one hit so far throughout this game. And I have squared the ball up a couple times. You guys saw that. I was able to hit the ball pretty decent. I did have a couple opportunities, some pitches over the middle of the plate. Had a couple good OKs with lower exit velocities up until this point. And that's what's going to happen. I mean, I expect it to happen. I don't always look at the hitter analysis, but... Uh, I might have to look at the hitter analysis up until this point because I feel like I'm hitting the ball all right. We don't have any runs. We barely have any hits. And the opponent is able to uh, get a base hit below the zone to start the game off. A bloop single. He is able to hit another home run. So there's the first home run of the game right there with Troy Tulowitzki. That was a pitch I wanted up and away. I missed over the middle of the plate. Uh, my fault, 100%. And uh, probably a better hit chance on that pitch feedback. But anyway... Uh, I was able to get a couple strikeouts up until this point. I think Kershaw has about four or five through four, four or five innings. So 
That's pretty good. I'm looking to get his pitch count a little bit better. This opponent was having some good at-bats. But I did go ahead and power swing in that at-bat there with Lou Gehrig. Smacked it into the uh, the gap for a double. And now we have Luis Gonzalez up in his second at-bat. Cashing in a base hit. It's not going to be an RBI single, but it is going to be a base knock. At least he's getting on the board. Uh, it seemed like he's more of a contact hitter. Didn't really get the best exit velocities. Does have 92 power uh, in the 90s power for uh, power against le or righty. So... I don't really know why he was getting a little bit lower exit velocities. I guess everybody does at times in this game, especially power hitters at times. Sometimes contact hitters get higher exit velocities. Just depends on the pitch or the location or the, I guess, the hit chance as well for the pitch feedback. But anyway, just as I was able to score a run, this opponent is smacking a uh, leadoff double with Buster Posey. That was a slider over the middle of the plate. So we are facing the, the brand new uh, headliner card as well as I wanted to try out the other headliner card in the Luis Gonzalez. So uh, I think the Buster Posey has the upper hand in this one so far. Hit the ball hard twice. Luis Gonzalez did as well, but uh, Buster Posey has a double. And he is going to tag up to third base on this play. I thought for a chance, or for a second I had a chance at throwing him out. Uh, I thought that it was a pretty close play, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get it. He tried the suicide squeeze with Justin Verlander. I was almost able to back pick him, but uh, it doesn't matter. He gets the two-out base knock there with Tony Gwynn. So we are down two runs. Just as I was able to score a run, the opponent gets it right back, and that's really what I'm trying to avoid. Anytime you score a run, you're trying to uh, put up a shutdown inning and put up a zero. So that's really anytime you're pitching, but especially after you score or after you have a big inning. I got rewarded on a hit I probably shouldn't have with Griffey, but I'm looking to try and take advantage of it. Uh, it was a late base hit the other way. That one was good squared up with Tony Gwynn. I've had a couple good, good hits so far. And uh, not as many good squared ups as I would like to, but uh, it is going to result in a hit that time around. So with Lou Gehrig, uh, that was a good okay. Don't really know where I missed that one. But nonetheless, a line out to left field. It really hurts when you have runners in scoring position and you are losing in the game already. Obviously, you want to get rewarded for every good input that you have, but that's just not going to be the case in uh, in sports games in general, and especially in this game, I would say uh, this doesn't happen all the time, but uh, for the most part, the ball, the ball is hit well if you square it up, I would say uh, the majority of the time, so anyway, he is uh, getting a base knock with his creative player, and just as I was able to score another run, he's already tacking on uh, another run as well. Gets gets the run right back. 95 speed is easily going to come around to score from first base there on that uh, pitch inside. I guess it got predictable with the fastball. He was all over it and sent it into the gap. Now I'm looking to try and minimize. Try not to give up this run that's on second base here. If I give up a base hit, hopefully I can try and throw him out. It doesn't really have the most speed. 69 speed with George Brett. But uh, get a couple strikeouts there. Went with um, Billy Wagner to face Bryce Harper in this situation. He had Fuzzy's moment, Bryce Harper. I went with him and uh, got the strikeout as well. So we ended up striking out the side after giving up back-to-back -back base hits to start the inning off. So kind of an interesting inning. Uh, the opponent, I felt, was on the baseball at times as well as he did strike out a good amount of times as well. So did have some timing that was off on some of the off speeds and was able to sit back on some of the really slow off speeds. So I was try having a tough time figuring him out uh, what th pitches to throw to him, how to attack him at the plate. But luckily, uh, his pinch hitter, Frank Thomas, for Matt Carpenter, is held off the board. So far, uh, we have Mike Piazza up at the plate, and as this game gets into the later innings, I'm really looking to swing at pitches over the middle. I'm trying to have better at-bats. That's always the approach, but especially later in the game, I don't have Verlander's uh, pitch count right where I want it. And I was able to draw two walks. So we get back-to-back -back walks. Ty Cobb's on second base. And Tony Gwynn is on first. And I lined out once again with uh, with Willie Mays. He was kept off the board in this game as well. Actually, Ofer so far. That was the best hit of the game from him. And it resulted in an out. But then I get rewarded right here with Lou Gehrig. I thought that uh, really any high-tier outfielder, left fielder with a diamond badge or even a gold badge, I think makes that play. Henley Ramirez does have the speed to get out there, but I got rewarded on the, uh, just a little bit of a late swing, and it was sent out for a triple by Lou Gehrig, cashing in the go-ahead run with Rogers Hornsby. So Lou Gehrig ties the game up. We go ahead by one run, and right away the opponent responded with a base knock from Tony Gwynn. I'm looking to try and uh, minimize. Every time I got something going, it seemed like he responded as well so i'm trying to to keep that off the board this time and uh keep him from doing that i was able to go to trevor hoffman i had him warmed up a little bit more than araldis chapman who i only left in 
for one batter. And I was able to uh, try and get out of this inning with Hoffman. I figured that would be the go-to guy with a little bit more pitches, a pitch selection, a better off-speed repertoire. And this guy was struggling a little bit with the uh, with the changeup earlier from Kershaw. So I figured Chapman uh, was not the guy, and uh, Hoffman was a better was a better guy to go to, and he got a little aggressive. He went with the stolen base. I'm surprised Mike Piazza threw him out, but uh, later on, George Brett sends one up the middle, facing Billy Wagner. He has uh, Billy Wagner in the game was really his first guy off the pen and out of the pen, and I was trying to get on him pretty, pretty quickly. I mean, Billy Wagner's a great pitcher. At times, he can be tough to locate. I felt like that one wasn't really the best feedback on the pitch. I had a late squared up hit. That's how I kind of am judging that. But uh, Frank Thomas is going to get all of that one, smacking it to center field, pinch hit off the bench, and he's coming up clutch. I think with the base open, I would have walked Frank Thomas, but at the same time, I have Tony Gwynn coming up next after that, who is going to line out to right field. It might have worked out for him in that situation if the same result happened. But anyway, we are up four. I'm going to Andrew Miller, even though he has a couple of righties up to bat. I'm going with Andrew Miller because he is a brand new pitcher. I want to get the save with him or at least try and close the game out. We have a four-run lead, so I don't think we'll get the save, but I want to try and get this game closed out. I gave up a grand slam with him the first time I was using him. I've used him once since then for one batter, trying to use him as a lefty specialist, seeing how I can how I can use this Miller and seeing if he's good enough to face righties that are uh, late in the game, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to use this as kind of a test run, as well as we do have a four-run lead. So if this gets out of hand, I will go ahead and bring in either Goose Gossage or Sergio Romo. Uh, this is my last lefty that I went to. I do have three lefties in the bullpen now. But uh, he was really aggressive. I got the strikeout and then a stolen base. A caught stealing there to end the game, and he was down by four. So a little bit of a questionable play there. But that is the 97 Luis Gonzalez debut. He ended up going one for four. I didn't show one at bat. I ended up striking out on a check swing. But he did go one for four with the base knock. Until next time, guys, I'm College Lefty, and have a good day. Peace out.